Let's start this lesson by inserting this roof. And so draw the perimeter. And when finished, I will enter the editor. Then let's give it a pitching angle. And so the side of the roof will be 50 centimeters lower. Now from the 3D view, I will need to modify the elevation of some object. For example, the height of this column need to be adjusted by 50 cm as well. And so we can select all the objects of the same typology, and from the properties panel we can change the height value. I will change the elevation also for the beams, and this function from the toolbar will allow me to moving just in the vertical direction. And of course I will do the same also for the sunshades. Now as you can see from the 3D view, we need an opening on the roof just over the staircase. And so I will enter again the editor, in order to modify the perimeter. Then coming back to the 3D view, I'm going to change the thickness of this roof directly from the properties panel. Now as you can see here, we have the wall from the third floor that are visible on the balcony of the fourth floor. And so I will select them, and from the properties panel I will assign a delta value of minus 20 centimeters. Then come back to the full visibility, and my floor now is clean. Now to complete the roof section of this building, I will open this level, but here, instead of an inclined roof, I prefer to use an horizontal envelope. So select the relative object from the menu, and start to draw the perimeter. Then assign an offset of 80 cm. And on the side of this roof, I want to insert an ornamental wall. I will also need another small roof here. Let's make some minor adjustments. And here, from the properties panel, I want to assign a delta of minus 20 cm, also for these walls, and then height of 80 cm. For this terrace, instead of changing the height of the wall below, I prefer to add a small delta to the roof itself. Again, assign the correct materials, also for the ornamental walls. Now for the main roof, I will choose a black rock material from the beam object library. Now as you can see, we missed some railing in our staircase, so let's select all the objects but the stairs and hide all of them from the visibility menu. So let's copy this railing model and draw in directly from the 3D view by using the snap node. Of course, the railing object can be also copied and pasted to the other ramps.
Also the ground floor need to be modified, and so let's open the relative level. Again, I will need to import a DXF growing reference. And so choose the correct one from this window, and from here I will select the scaling factor. Now we'll use this coordinator of the building as reference point to place my drawing in the correct position. Now this balcony will need to be modified, and so I will select the object and edit its perimeter. On this side of the building, I don't need these walls anymore. And I will also modify this one to reach this point. I will need to adjust also this horizontal envelope. And I will leave in some room here in order to insert a stair. Now let's insert some other balcony slab, for example here. And also here on the side of the building. For these two balcony slabs, I will define a delta of minus one meter. And now I'm ready to insert the stairs object. So select the stairs object from the menu, access the editor, and insert a ramp in the correct position. Then from the properties panel, I will select an appropriate number of rising. Same procedure here, and so open the editor, insert the first ramp, choose the number of rising, then I will insert a landing here. Another couple of steps here. Now from the 3D view, I will define the correct elevation of my stairs by using the snap function.